for my third pick and the sixth overall in the week four Sunday six pack. You want to bet on Brian Hoyer? All right, I'll go with Mitch Trubisky. Pittsburgh minus three at home against the Jets. And, and you were laughing at me. And you were I know. laughing hey, at me. Hey, hey, hey. I, I, it's just, this is what we do on this podcast. I, I wasn't laughing Wait, at by, by the way, could, let me let me throw in that the, the line is sitting at nine and a half right now. So yeah. just wait if you're out there because it's in a dead zone now. It's not going to go to seven. Um, so don't like listen to this and bet it if it's at nine and a half. Wait to see if it goes to 10, 10 and a half because it, it's in a dead zone right now. I just wanted to throw that out there. But I, had, I, I also wanted to uh, delay your Mitch... <laughs> Ms. for as long as possible yeah listen man this is it's this is what we do on this podcast uh like i think you said it last week if you're not uncomfortable betting on the nfl you probably shouldn't be doing it uh you know this line is three and a half uh this is another one try to get the three it, it's depending on the book it's kind of jumping up and down but uh, i saw it go to three at, at a bunch of spots when zach wilson was announced as the starter and this was music to my ears because I actually have Joe Flacco rated above Zach Wilson. And that could change, obviously. But I'm talking about for this specific game, like for Zach Wilson, who hasn't, who's been banged up and, and hasn't had as much practice time, you know, coming back, you know, at first start on the road, terrible towels, Steelers coming off a loss, extra time to prepare. Uh, you know, doesn't have chemistry with the two guys that have caught the most balls for the Jets, which are Garrett Wilson and Tyra Conklin. And, you know, I just don't like the spot for Zach Wilson at all. I, I think that he maybe he has a, a brighter future than what he showed last year, but uh, one of the most inaccurate quarterbacks in the league last year, uh, one of the most turnover prone quarterbacks, stopped turning the ball over a bit down the stretch, but still averaged like 160 yards per game. Just, you know, did it, it, he didn't trade in the turnovers and like get like better. It's just, he didn't turn the ball over anymore. It's like, it's kind of like Daniel Jones, you know, it's like, it's not really improving your team's odds of winning, but uh, you also got the Jets still, you know, Pittsburgh, obviously you, you missed TJ Watt. It's a big loss. No, no way around it, but the Jets offensive line is in shambles now at the tackle position. George Fant is hurt and George Fant's, not that great, but I mean, he was a guy that could, you know, they could put him on the left. They could put him on the right. Now they got, you know, McDermott came in for him last week. Their he, offensive line got destroyed last week. Yeah. He, he like McDermott comes in for Fant, Right. And, and again, fan, I'm not saying fan is a world beater, but he's been valuable to this Jets team over the, over the past couple of years. Right. Wayne Brown's not ready yet to come off, but McDermott comes in for, for George Fant last week, 22 snaps. This dude allows five pressures and, and a sack on 22 snaps. And pass protection that is abysmal last year and it's not even an outlier last year he played 77 snaps in pass protection and allowed four sacks for pro football focus so the jets offensive line you know on the road where you know the, the crowd's going to be a factor I, I could see a lot of penalties you know wilson's going to be out of sync with everybody i could see a lot of pen penalties miscommunications uh turnovers uh minka fitzpatrick looks like he's out of the protocol and, and is practicing uh, so that he's going to be, he's going to be working. And the this, this Steeler team, listen, I thought Trubisky actually looked better than he's looked all year. He finally started throwing about a pickings outside. Um, so hopefully they can kind of continue that. Cause I think that's, you know, it, it, it this, in this game, actually, you want to throw the ball to the middle, which is another thing the Steelers haven't been doing. So uh, hopefully we can get some more uh, baby Gronk, Pat Fryermuth uh, going, but listen, this is Mike Tomlin off a loss. He's 57%, 47-36 against the spread in his career. Uh, with extra time to prepare, he is 15-9, 60% against the spread, covering by an average uh, of 3.6 points per game. And Robert Sala, you know, rah-rah guy too, but not the same results. 7-13 and 13 all time, regardless of the situation, just period. In his 20 games coach, 7-13 and 13 against the spread, 35%. Jets failing to cover by 3.9 points per game over a field goal sample size of 20. Not that's not insignificant at this point. Uh, and then Zach Wilson on the road, two and five against the spread failing to cover by 6.1 points. Zach Wilson has been spotting teams, essentially an extra touchdown to the spread uh, in his road starts and in his career, he's three and 10 straight up. Every loss, all 10 of his losses have come by at least four points. So, you know, if you think the Steelers are going to win this game, 
good chance they still cover the number even at three. So a rare, uh, backing a rare three point favorite here uh, on the pod. It's ugly, but uh, I, I'm just, I, I don't have any confidence in Zach Wilson's first game back. Oh, I'm glad we got back to our roots. So we, our first five recommendations were Kyler, Lamar, Burrow, Brady, and Ryan. Now we went Hoyer and Trubisky, <laughs> yeah, aka right. Bortles. Uh, yeah, I mean, these are my – if Flacco played, I was thinking about playing the Jets. These Now that it's Wilson versus Bortles, it's my two least favorite quarterbacks in the league. Um, I I would lean the Steelers. That's like what my, you know, my numbers show a slight bit of that. I am not betting this game. I will – you know for the show i'll root for you to cover but i part of me will root for a tie since i have the jets and steelers win total under um so a tie would be lovely <laughs> oh, that happened God. to me one one other time in my life where i had two under teams that tied it was the bengals and the eagles but uh yeah gun to my head i would bet the steelers with you but i am not going to make our listeners suffer anymore about talking this game i hope that the Steelers have a pick six, unless you need some fantasy points in this game. A pick six to start the game, and they win seven nothing, and that game never comes on red zone one single time. 